Without a hat, Fiona Bennett doesn't feel properly dressed. She creates exquisite headgear in her Berlin studio. Berlin is always on the go, and that fascinates me. In fact, that's what keeps me here, even though sometimes I dream about living someplace else. But if I've been gone a while and come back, I realize so much has already happened here that I really do want to be a part of it, after all. Since the late 1980s, Fiona Bennett has been designing ladies' and men's hats for life's glamorous moments. Her shop, Hutpalast, in the central Tiergarten district is her studio and shop in one. She displays her creations like works of art. I have visions in mind of how I can dress up and deck out and improve a person. To see someone out there on the streets wearing a model of mine and feeling good, maybe even better than before, that's the great enjoyment my work gives me. Classical, whimsical, or extravagant, but wearable. That's Fiona Bennett's look. Her current collection is inspired by vintage kimonos. Berliner heads aren't the only ones her hats cover. Christina Aguilera also wears Fiona Bennett's creations. So does model Nadia Auermann and Hollywood star Brad Pitt. He discovered her caps when he visited Berlin in 2008. I was lucky enough to have him pick out the Malcolm cap and he didn't take it off again for years. He ordered more of them in every shape and fabric. Fiona Bennett was born in 1966 in Brighton, England. Her first years in the elegant old seaside resort have stayed with her, even after she moved to Berlin with her family at age six. The English are very eccentric in the best sense of the word. They like to dress up, deck themselves out, and party, as I remember. And I think, as a little girl, I took a lot of that in. But then I feel more like a Berliner because I've spent the greater part of my life here, and I think the two cultures are mixed together inside of me. As a little girl, Fiona Bennett knew she wanted to be an artist. She trained as a milliner so she could make art to go on heads. In 1992, she started her own studio in downtown Berlin and raised eyebrows with off-the-wall fashion performances. Later, she provided film productions with her hat creations and designed the costumes for the rock group Ramstein's first tour. I was a single mother. My son was two years old when I opened my first shop, and I didn't really have any other choice. I told myself, okay, I'm going to conquer the world from Berlin. Fiona Bennett's creativity seems limitless. Working together with her partner in business and life, Hans Joachim Böhme, she helped to design what may well be Berlin's most beautiful restrooms for the Wintergarten Variety Theater. The couple had free reign to design the theater's 270 square meter lower floor, however they wished, to make a comfort zone for the patrons. The idea was that in the intermission, you leave the theater, you go to the restroom, and you remain in this world of enchantment, magic, and illusion. You don't get torn out of it. Fiona Bennett finds inspiration for her hats and other projects along Potsdamer Straße, not far from her studio. She likes the neighborhood, its character, both tough and smart at the same time. There's stylish apparel, contemporary art, and always something new to be discovered here. Staying alert and curious is fundamental to the artist.
My motto is to remain elastic. If you remain elastic, nothing really bad can happen to you. And I think the city of Berlin can teach you to remain elastic. Someday, maybe, she'd like to live by the sea again. But until that day, Fiona Bennett intends to remain a bona fide Berliner.